Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. I'm about to start working on this 2014 BMW M6. It is a black metallic. It looks gorgeous. Well, I should say that paint looks gorgeous when it's not all swirled up. This one's actually pretty hammered. I'm about to release what I believe to be the absolute best polishes on the market. All right, I'm about to start polishing on this uh, BMW M6. So I have the hood separated into three different sections, and I'm gonna start right here on the front uh, with my brand new water-based and VOC-free compound. Cool part about all of that I just said is that it's completely eco-friendly. So, got my Harbor Freight DA as usual, cord control clip, and this is the uh, Buff and Shine all-in-one microfiber pad. And uh, when you are using these microfiber pads, you gotta make sure you get the product in all the fibers so you're not dry buffing. So that's one pro tip from me to you. So get it all in the fibers, and then I take a nylon brush, get all the fibers back plush again. And for this go, I'm gonna add just a couple of small dots, nothing crazy. So now, I'm gonna go ahead and go to town on this roughly two by two section, then I'm gonna take you off the tripod and show you what we're working with. I'm going to start it on uh, speed five. As most of you guys know, my section pass, full section job, is three passes. All right, so kind of just fast forward it a little bit I was doing some testing on the hood I'm still not done trying to figure out what works best on this particular car but what we do have is a rotary polisher the Makita 9227C and uh, brand new compound so we're gonna see what kind of results I can get with uh, the rotary Normally, I don't use a rotary, but I like to put my products through all their paces. Like, if anyone buys the stuff, I want them to be able to use it. So, um, good rule of thumb when using a rotary, don't leave any kind of extra, extra stuff, because it'll sling everywhere. wiped off and see where we're at. Let's think uh, rotary polishing is becoming a lost art form these days. Um, a lot of people are going to dual action polisher use for good reason. They're easier to handle, less risk involved, uh, they cut faster, But, let's see if this particular situation Oh yeah, for sure Man, she's scratched up 
So I'm going to do a couple more panels and I'll bring you guys back and show you exactly what I'm looking for and what it is that I'm trying to achieve. Uh, and then the results that I am getting compared to what it looked like before I did anything at all. Okay, now I literally used my Harbor Freight DA right there with the blue uh, Eurotech buff and shine pad. This is what the paint looked like before. Very swirled, very hazy, not clear. And now we definitely have some compound haze going on. Remember, it is a compound. However, you also notice all the swirls are gone. There are very few random isolated deeper scratches left. And that was one section pass. One up and down, one side to side, one up and down to complete this section right here. You can see the tape line right there. You can see how swirled and hazy this side is compared to this side. So, this stuff truly works amazing. I'm very excited. I mean, we've got a dual action polisher with a uh, blue foam pad. Speed five, one section pass. Amazing results. Um, when I hit that with the new finishing polish, uh, it's really gonna shine it up and look amazing. I'll probably do a demo in this video of that too. I'm actually gonna hit the whole car. I'm gonna go ahead and use that combo because it's giving me the results I want for this two-step process, cut then polish. And uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and rock and roll. Uh, I'm gonna opt out of using the rotary just because the DA is easier. Um, and I'm, I'm truly getting results that I want. I mean, I, I sold this guy a two-step uh, polish and that's exactly what I'm giving him. And it's removing all the swirls he had concern for and uh, a lot of those deeper, random, isolated, deeper scratches, rids we call them in the industry. Uh, it's removing those um, and doing a great job with the Harbor Freight DA. So I'm gonna just keep rocking and rolling with that. More polishing. Let's do it! I'm not protecting this thing with my Ceram Acrylics Pro Hybrid coating. I'm just going to put some Juice Boost on it because he's actually going to sell it. So um, I'm going to go ahead and keep cranking, get this compounding done. We'll be back to show you some of the uh, finishing polish work. Be right back. All right, boys and girls. So um, I'm using the Harbor Freight DA and the Blue Eurotech pad, obviously, uh, and my brand new compound. Uh, I was about to just, and I, I just posted on social media a little bit, um, just the the results that I'm getting with this new compound, but I want, and I was actually just going to go ahead and hit the side that I just compounded with the new uh, finishing polish, but I wanted to show you guys on camera first. I've got my fancy Walmart $25 LED light that works amazing for paint correction. So anyway, <clears throat> you can see this side here has been compounded. This side here has not been compounded. So I want to show you guys. See all those swirls? I don't know how close we can get. See how the clarity is lacking tremendously? And all those swirl marks and scratches and haziness is there. 
So if you pull the tape down, and this is, if you're getting into paint correction, masking tape is your best friend. I will put that back up there because I want to go ahead and just follow the compound up with the new finishing polish on that side so you can see if I can get your light, there you go, you can see the difference in clarity. Way more clear on this side where I use the compound. Compound, I mean it definitely leaves a nice clear finish. Um, the the dramatic difference that the finishing polish will leave uh, is just phenomenal. But you can see the difference, all those swirls and scratches and haziness there. And then you go over, and we're following the light. We're following where the light is, right here and then even up there. But I'm following this right here. So all the haze, and you can see those like shadow things uh, on the top and the bottom and you don't have those over here. Oh, sorry. There we go. It's nice and clear. So, doing lots of work with the Harbor Freight DA as usual. This thing is amazing, it's a beast. Uh, so, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do the finishing polish on this side, but you can see, I just wanted to show you how dramatic the difference was with just the compounding part. All right, I'm just getting you set up so that I can uh, do the finishing polish. So, put the tape back up. <clears throat> a lot of times I will reuse tape. Um, tape isn't too costly, but I, I generally will pull it off and re-stick it, especially if I'm in a clean, controlled environment. So what I've done already is I've switched out that blue pad for the white. Um, forgot what series this is from, but it's definitely a Buff and Shine pad. I used to carry those white ones, but now I carry the red one. I just prefer them. And you'll see, it doesn't take a lot. Shit. Take this cover off. All right, so, very little bit. And that's all I'm going to use for that. And then move the light over slightly. I'm going to just go to town if I can get you untangled here. Cord control clip. Speed four. Do it. And that, as they say, is that. So now I have compounded and polished this side. If I'm, oh, towel's in my pocket. And here we go. I can already see just the gloss difference is pretty amazing. But also I can tell that the compounding, this very slight compounding haze that the compound left behind is completely gone now. So that's definitely a good thing. Wow. All right, here we go, guys. That's the difference right there. Huge! Huge! Now, take me some, uh, couple of pictures for the old social media. Wow! Wow is all I can say. Give you some of this wow. Show you what's up. I'm working with this Canon 80D. It's a massive beast. 
All right, so, fancy LED light, check. Not really, but look at those results. How hazy that is. And we're looking right here, we're looking right here where the light is, right there. So follow that light into the clarity and beautifulness and to the nasty depths of the abyss. It looks amazing. Crystal clear, works awesome. Did you see how easy my finishing polish was to wipe off? And look at those results. Now those are results you just saw happen. So, you know, my name will be on the bottle, just like all of my products, however, this is not for show people. This is for go. And with this new stuff, just like with my old stuff, but a little bit easier to work with, VOC free and water based. All right, guys, that's it. I'm going to keep cranking now that you've seen the goods. All right, boys and girls, she's all done. Had to keep the car for a couple extra days. So this morning I moved everything around. Car looks pretty awesome. A little dusty, it had to sit out here overnight, unfortunately, but it is what it is. That gloss though. You can see the metallic. It's nice, nice rainbow metallic. Anyway, that's a 20, ooh, see all that dropping down from the stupid tree? That tire dressing, I'm just in love with. The looks, it's relatively durable, and that's the new Hyper concentrated, infinite use detail juice, uh, the Vertex stuff I've been uh, referring to in Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation, a group on Facebook, where we talk about only my products, my processes, and what I've got going on. If you guys want to know more about that, just check out the group. But that's it. BMW M6 2014. Uh, I vacuumed the interior out and wiped it all down, nothing fancy. So, anyway, I'm not going to move it in the street because it's already getting dusty enough. But anyway, if you got questions for me or if you want to have something detailed, just call me. 813-846-4406. Thanks so much for watching, guys. You got... I apologize for this ending of the video. I normally, oh god, the pop, like these. Oh, that carbon fiber looks amazing. These lawn guys are just really tearing shit up out here. All kinds of debris floating around, but it is what it is when the car's got to sit outside. So, that's where we're at. Uh, you guys saw enough of uh, the correction process and whatnot, so I'm not real worried about uh, whether you saw it or not. But I'm just thrilled at how that carbon fiber looks so clear. So, thanks so much for watching. Give me a call if you need something detailed. Um, or if you've got questions about how to get it done, or even uh, questions about my products at detailjuice.com. Thanks for watching guys, have a great day.